Hello and welcome to DIY Machines, I'm Lewis and in this second video in our domino laying machine project I'm going to show you how to add Bluetooth to it so that you can drive it around using this app we built in Blink from your smartphone. This project has been kindly sponsored by PCBWay, so more about them later. If you have not seen the first video, which covers the majority of the 3D printing, assembling and electronics, then you can follow the link to that one up here. To add Bluetooth control to our project, we're going to add a HM10 module. We'll also add a small LED to help us see the status of the project's Bluetooth connectivity. To do this, you're going to need a HM10 Bluetooth module, an LED. You'll also need four jumper wires with at least one end of them being female. Or if you prefer, you can create your own wires using some DuPont connectors and a pair of crimpers. We're going to swap the lid of our electronics with a new 3D printed part. This part is called Main Body Arduino HM10 and Lid. There are links to download the file just below in the description. I printed mine in the same cool silky silver as I have the rest of the body. We need to start by removing the existing lid. Take the screws out and set these aside for use later. You can also remove the carousel and then slide the electronics from inside the case. We're going to be using all four pins on this HM10 module. That's the receiving, transmitting, ground and VCC. The VCC will provide it power using the 3.3 volts from our Arduino Uno. Now, if you're not going to crimp your own connectors, that's no problem. You can just trim some female breadboard jumping leads to the required lengths, strip them and then tin the other end so that you can solder it to the display later. Now, if you don't have any jumper wires which you're willing to sacrifice, you can consider soldering directly to the module, but be warned, we are using jumper wires so that we can easily connect and disconnect the module from our Arduino Uno. This is because we are connecting wires to the same serial pins that our Arduino uses to communicate with our computer. This is likely to interfere with this communication. This could prevent you from uploading new code from your Arduino IDE via USB until you are able to disconnect the Bluetooth module. Now, on a slightly lighter note, if you're considering making your own connectors, I've already made a video showing you how to crimp DuPont style connectors, which you can find up here in the corner. You're going to need to make a four wire connector using four wires, two of which are 10 centimeters long and two 12 centimeters long, like so. Now solder the outside 12 cm wire to transmit the second pin in and the inside 12 cm wire to receive, which is the outermost pin. The outermost 10 cm wire on our connector is connected to 3.3 volts on the Arduino and the final wire is connected to ground. Now adding the LED to your project is an optional step, but it does make it much easier to tell when your phone and the HM10 have a current active Bluetooth connection. For the LED, prepare two lengths of wire, one five centimeters long and the other three centimeters. Solder the five centimeter long wire to the third pad here on the module. The other end of this wire can then be soldered to the positive anode of the LED. That's usually its longer leg. We can then solder the three centimeter wire to the negative cathode of the LED. Wrap some insulation tape around the legs to prevent them shortening the circuit if they touch each other. The other end of the ground wire is then soldered to the reverse side of the ground pin on the Bluetooth module. We can now connect the module to the wires which we soldered to the display's terminals. Ensure that the orientation of the connector is such that the pin marked VCC on the module is connected to the 3.3 volt wire. The LED should start to blink when you connect the batteries to your project. If the onboard LED is blinking, but yours is not, then you should check your connections, as well as checking you have the LED oriented the right way around. Now, before you can leave the module connected and reassemble our machine, you're going to want to set the app up on your mobile phone. This is because Blink is going to generate you a unique authorization token or key. 
This will need to add into your code in the Arduino IDE and then upload this over USB to your machine. We won't be able to do this whilst the module is connected. But before we do that, I want to say a very grateful thank you to the patrons of DIY Machines who help make all of these projects possible. This list of super kind people is joined today by Peto, Werner, Daniel, Arco, and Alan. I hope I've got your names right and thank you for supporting these projects. If you'd like to help support these projects and this channel, then please take a look at the Patreon page. You'll find the link to this in the description below. Thank you. Now, the next thing we need to do is install the app on your phone. You'll need to first go to the app store on your device and download the free Blink app. On launching the app, you may need to create yourself a free account if you do not already have one with Blink. Once done and logged in, press the QR code button in the projects gallery. You can then scan this QR code to copy the configuration over to your device. Once copied into your app, Blink will generate you your own auth token. This can be found in the settings page. Copy this and then open the project's code in the Arduino IDE. Once pasted in, connect your Arduino and PC with a USB cable and upload the code. We can then disconnect the USB cable and reconnect the HM10 module. Don't forget to pay attention to the orientation of our wires. Slide the Arduino and display shield back inside the casing. As in the first video, you can use some blue tack to keep the buttons in place temporarily. Insert our LED into the hole from inside the lid. It should just push fit. Screw the lid onto the main machine using those M3 bolts which we reserved earlier. Connect the batteries and acknowledge the carousel is removed on the main menu. You can then choose option two, Bluetooth control. Now let's connect the Blink app on your phone to your Domino machine. To do this, navigate to the project in the app and then press on the Bluetooth icon here. This will bring up a list of available Bluetooth devices. Mine is called DSD Tech, so I'll select that. At this point, our status LED on the Domino machine should change from flashing to solid to indicate that we have a connection to the Bluetooth module. The LCD screen will also print connected to Blink when the app has successfully communicated with the Arduino via the Bluetooth connection. These are the controls. This slider controls the steering. This one rotates the carousel around by one position and this one will light up when you need to reload the carousel. This slider controls the direction of travel. Central is neutral, down is backwards and up is forwards. There you go. That's how you add Bluetooth to your Domino laying machine. It's my favorite way of driving it around. I hope you've enjoyed this project and that you might consider subscribing and perhaps becoming a Patreon. You'll find links down below. Don't forget to take a look at some of the other projects available, such as this Arduino powered CNC drawing machine or this giant clock hidden in the front edges of a shelving unit. Until next time, ciao for now. This video has been very kindly sponsored by PCBWay. Now I've just received my very first PCBs. I've never made any before and I had no problem ordering these from PCBWay and I think they look pretty good. They actually arrived so quickly that the components I've ordered elsewhere to attach to these aren't here yet. So I'm looking forward to adding those on and seeing how my circuit goes. If you've never created your own PCBs and you've wanted to give it a go, then I've put a link to the tutorial that I've been following to learn how to make these in KiCad. PCBWay usually offers five PCBs for $5, but if you're a new customer, they'll apply a $5 credit to your account, effectively making your first PCB order free. What have you got to lose? If you want to give it a go, head on over to PCBWay.com. This you'll need to add into the Arduino IDE and then we'll have to upload this over USB. That's a lot to say. <laughs> um, blink on your smartphone and navigate to the project we've just added.